Mike Carey here with Best of Us Investors. It's Thanksgiving morning, and in about two hours, I'm going to be running in the 5K, the 30A 10K. I'm actually running in the 5K down at Rosemary Beach. So I wasn't going to make a video today, but I can't get the image of a rocket ship uh, launching out of my mind, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Uh, even if it's going to be a short video, uh, because I think this is just, I, I, I just feel compelled to make sure that you understand what is about to happen and how you can profit from it and how you can position yourself. And again, let me emphasize, I am not a short-term investor. This isn't going to be something that's going to happen next week. It's going to happen years from now, uh, and I don't know how many, but it's going to be a progressive thing and I want you to be a part of it. I want you to be a part of being able to say, yeah, I changed my family's life by making an investment back in, um, in November or December of 2021 that is going to change the world. Of course, I'm talking about the metaverse and what I've more recently come across, the omniverse. Um, and, and I wanna talk about the other stocks that I own and how they're going to be affected by those two new introductions into our life. But first, I'm, this is not financial advice. This is, I hope, some form of education that uh, can help you become a in better investor and, more importantly, that can change your life. So hang with me. Let me get this out of the way, and then uh, I'll get the video done, and then I'll go run my 5K. This will probably be the last 5K that I run. Talk to you in a second. Best of Us Investors presents Carrie Griegmeier. Okay, as I say, I can't get the image of a of a rocket ship blasting off and in, into into orbit, and it, and let's say it's going to Mars, and it's going to take years to get there. But we know it's going to get there. We know in our heart that this is going to change the world and we have an opportunity to participate in it. And what I mean by that is I'm not the smartest guy in, in, in the room and I doubt if you are as well, but there are other people who have extreme insights and intelligence and backgrounds that can change our world. And we as citizens of this earth have the opportunity to invest in them. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a rigged game on the short term, but it's not on the long term. We know that if back in 1998, if we had seen the internet coming, what they called the World Wide Web, and invested in it, we'd be wealthy now. We know if we had seen e-commerce, we know if we had seen fa uh, Facebook and and social media, we'd be wealthy now. Well, we know, we know now about the omniverse, and we know about the metaverse, and all we have to do is identify the companies that are gonna make those things happen, and we can be wealthy. It's that simple. So I want to make sure that you know who are the main major players. Well, obviously, what it is all about, what, what the omniverse and the metaverse is all about is really artificial intelligence. And that is the ability, to think of what intelligence is. Intelligence is the ability to take the data, the information, the knowledge you have in your mind and make good decisions. Well, artificial intelligence is the same thing, except there's a whole lot more data and a whole lot mind, more mind power available that's going to make the world make better decisions. It's that simple. So you ask yourself, who are the key players? Who are the elements of it that are going to make it happen? Well, the first word I used was data. So you've got to have the data keepers involved. And the data keepers are Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Apple. So it's obvious you want to own those companies. So those, those are keepers. Those are, they are going to change whatever happens, whatever happens after the metaverse. Then you have the, and the uh, AI, the artificial intelligent programmers, and that's NVIDIA. And in the pharmaceutical world, it's Abcellera, 
And uh, Schrodinger, S-C-H-R-O-D-I-N-E-R. I'm down 42% on it. But it's because the world hasn't recognized what they do. Uh, and I'll leave it to you to go find out what they do. Then, uh, as a part of this artificial intelligence explosion that we're going to have, we, we've recognized that we have a problem with our health care system. It doesn't cure people. It basically just cares for people who are sick. That's going to change. And as that changes, you're going to see an explosion in stocks like CRISPR, Editus, Beam, Caribou, uh, Illumina, Invate, and Pacific Biosciences. They're all involved in um, the genome therapy and genome sequencing. And all of this is wrapped around, again, artificial intelligence, which then takes us back to the, the uh, omniverse. You can see that in the omniverse, it's going to eliminate the inefficiencies of healthcare. It's going to eliminate the inefficiencies of a lab technician sitting, standing over a Petri dish day after day after day, searching for the right combination of molecules to make the drugs that are going to help you in your health. But if we put artificial intelligence in that and we connect 10,000 Petri dishes together, we're going to come to conclusions that used to take six months or six years in six minutes. This is what's going to happen. And if I know that, if I know that's going to happen, all I've got to do is figure out the companies that are going to make it happen. And I just shared some with you. Then we go to the metaverse itself. Who are the players there? Well, we know Facebook. Facebook has said they're going to go hire 10,000 people and they're going to spend billions of dollars to create the platform that delivers you the metaverse. We know that Roblox is way ahead in this because they've been playing the gaming business for years now. We know Unite is a company that, that is also deep into the gaming business and will make a smooth transition into the metaverse as we go. Fastly, we need them to bring the data as quickly adjacent to each other so that we make the good decision, so we need to own them. And then also within the metaverse, we're going to add to our, our uh, sense of, of vision and, and, and hearing, we're going to add our sense heptic uh, technology, which is touch, which is a company by the name of immersion. So these are the companies that I own, some by, by luck, some by, by vision. And, and when I say by vision, I read a lot. I read a lot about technology. I, I, um, I, I want to implore you that 99% of the people in the world read their last nonfiction book in the last year of their education, and they've stopped learning. So if you will continue to learn and you will target your learning towards things like this, the rocket ship that's about to take off, you're going to become wealthy. You can't help but become wealthy because you've decided in your mind, I'm going to become one of the smartest people in the room and I'm going to invest in the other people who are in the room who are smarter than me. And that's these companies I just reviewed for you. So I, I, I just, I, I was going to skip today. I said, it's Thanksgiving. You don't need to make a video. They can live with, but I had to share this. I had to share this because I might go kill myself out there running 5K at 77 years old. Uh, this, I, I, I hope this is the last one. I hope I do. I'm running it with my granddaughter. Uh, in fact, I'll do some video uh, out there, and you'll see it on on um, my um, my best of retirement channel. Because most people re in retirement don't do stupid things like this. Just just the day before yesterday, uh, I went on a mountain biking trip with my with my uh, son and uh, my grandson and two boyfriends of uh, of my granddaughters. And, and they, they just ran the bejesus out of me. But uh, my legs are in tune. I had a day of recovery, 
and now I'm going to go kill them in a 5K race. So happy Thanksgiving. Have a good weekend uh, coming up. And, um, and on Friday, if you aren't in these stocks, between now and then, do some research. Make a decision if you want to be wealthy, if you want to change the lives of those people who are going to follow you. So here's my number. Uh, I'm, uh, what, 21, 28. Watch for me at the finish line. Yeah, I'll be near the end of the pack, uh, but uh, I, I promise I'll finish. Talk to you again tomorrow.